Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great Sunday. Um, one of the things that I... One of the ways that I learn in life is through stories. And how will you know that a story is, is good? Usually a good story is considered good when it is re retold by anybody. It's a story that's something that you can retell. In my case, there's one story that I really love and something that is worth sharing. If you know the story of a man who changed water into wine, there was a wedding in Cana in Galilee and um, there was this important master. If it's a wedding, usually it's a special event, right? Um, some people truly wait for this day. If not wedding, it could be a birthday party. And what is the crown of a birthday party usually? What is it that people wait for or are excited about whenever he or she is celebrating his or her birthday? Isn't it the cake? So everybody awaits for that cake, especially if it's a birthday. Going back to the wedding in Cana in Galilee. Thousands of years ago, there was no cake yet. So one thing that people look forward to in special events, especially in weddings, is the wine. And then the receptionist, the woman said to Jesus, and they know who Jesus is, somebody who can do miracles. The woman said, <clears throat> there is no more wine. What I like about the attitude of this woman is that she didn't panic and she didn't worry. She told Jesus her concern right away. I think it's a reflection for us that sometimes, even me, I'm a bit of a worrier sometimes. I worry things because sometimes I depend on myself. I do not, I do not ask for God, for God first, for God's help. I do things on my own and that makes everything heavy so I think as Christians since we have a living God who has been resurrected on the third day we shouldn't be the first ones to worry and we should be the first ones to come to the Lord and then uh, there were six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. The jars that time, so they checked, they checked and checked, baka meron pang wine, baka may natira pa, baka may pwede pang iserve sa master, because they cannot go on the day without the wine, it's the most important thing, like the birthday cake. Then, uh, Jesus told some servants, Fill the jars with water until up to the brim. If you were the servants that time, would you obey Jesus? Would you fill the jars with water? And then serve water. I am thinking of the frontliners nowadays, you know. Um, I think during those times, the servants were the frontliners for me because they will be the ones to serve the, the wedding banquet master that, that water. And would you serve somebody with water when they are expecting wine? 
course not. But one thing that I learned in here is that they trust God. They trusted God, whatever he said. Remember that that water didn't turn into wine when it was poured into the jars, not even when it was poured into a glass or a cup, you know. And then when they gave it to the master, maybe everybody's terrified. What will, how will he react? Because it was just water. And then as soon as he tasted that he had much to drink, he realized that it was wine. That story may be just simple to everybody because it was just a wedding story. But if you're if you're a follower of Christ, you would know that it's about the big obedience and it's about trust. Let me sing my favorite song. It's called One Desire. is my